the new romantic comedy from Peacock, Meet Cute, gives time travel a whole new interpretation. Our main character Sheila, Kali Kyoko, uses a tanning bed in the back room of a nail salon to travel back in time, rather than a traditional time machine. It was written by Nogan Whaley and directed by Alex Lehman. The rom-com begins with Sheila introducing herself to Gary, Pete Davidson, a shy man sitting alone at a bar. The two had an almost perfect first date after their successful meet cute, and everything seems to be going well for them. The sole issue? Actually, that wasn't their first date. Sheila must have practiced her flirting skills with Gary because she keeps going back in time to relive their romantic evening together. The conversation gradually develops into a formal date as she offers to buy him a drink. Sheila intrigues Gary, but he can't help but think that there are some odd things about her. She is aware of his preferred beverage and occasionally anticipates his words. Sheila tells Gary that she is a time traveler to explain this away. Gary doesn't take her seriously and expresses optimism that they will reconnect after their date. She promises to see him the next day. Sheila keeps her word, and the following day, in the same bar, on the same day, she encounters Gary for the first time once more. Gary leaves, unsure of what to make of her. In contrast to other time loop movies, where the protagonist is typically locked somewhere against their will and eager to leave, Sheila chooses to remain in one day for all eternity and meet cute. The opportunity to try something new just once quickly develops into her spending every day with Gary for weeks and then months. Their anniversary falls on the same day because she keeps herself so busy. Why does she do it, though? Sheila reveals to Gary that she had made the decision to take her own life before using the time machine and meeting him during their dates. She went to the nail shop to get her nails done with the intention of having an easier death by jumping off a bridge into the chilly ocean. However, the time travel device gave her a second opportunity. She met Gary in her first loop and enjoyed spending time with him. Sheila thought that because their first date was so great, continuing it would only make things worse for them. Her past influenced how she felt about this. It is evident from everything that occurs in the movie that Sheila is depressed. For her, life had always been rather up and down. When Gary visits Sheila's past, he learns that she had a mother who didn't pay her any care during her youth. She was affected by the fact that her father was an alcoholic who passed away as a result of his drinking. Additionally, it transpires that she and her husband split after five years of marriage because her husband opted to end their union. She made the decision to end things because of the cumulative effect of all of these things and other factors. She discovered hope for herself when she met Gary. She had a lot of fun with him, and it was undoubtedly the beginning of something positive. However, because most of her relationships up to this point had ended in divorce, she believed that eventually Gary would drift apart from her for one reason or another. It might be his pregnant ex-girlfriend, a nuclear attack on the city, or even just the possibility that Gary's feelings could shift in the future. Whatever it would be, Sheila made the decision that staying in this one great day she had with Gary was preferable to moving on and possibly losing him forever. Sheila finally realizes that things need to alter in order for them to be positive after spending a full year with him while they were locked on the same day. She decides it's better if she adheres to her original plan and dies since she grows frustrated with the same routine and the fact that Gary always leaves when she talks about the sad things in her life. Gary appears just as she is about to complete the act and begs her not to leap from the bridge. He begs her to wait till the following day and see what transpires. Even though it's more of a hope, he claims to have glimpsed a future and assures her that she will be in it regardless of what she chooses to do. He promises to see her tomorrow as he departs, but he is still unsure. Gary pauses to turn around as the new day begins and sees Sheila standing aside. It appears that his prediction of the future was correct after all. Sheila resolves to give the future another opportunity and refrains from jumping off the bridge. Sheila needed to be with Gary, which was the entire purpose of repeating the same day over and over again. She was apprehensive about the following day since she thought a relationship with Gary would eventually come to an end. But the fact that the relationship continues to develop despite the passage of time demonstrates to her that there is no use in repeating the same day. While it has been over a year since she first started seeing Gary, it has only been a few hours since he first met her. They have a terribly lopsided equation because of the time difference, which starts to cause more issues than Sheila did imagine. Gary's recollections of the date with Sheila are erased with each loop. Even if he always meets her for the first time, after getting to know her for more than a year, some things seem to stick. He can recall a few specifics about what Sheila told him during earlier loops. 
In addition to this, he also starts to feel things for her. On their most recent first date, he confesses to having had conflicting feelings for her the entire time. He simultaneously has the impression that he is having the time of his life and the unwavering conviction that he dislikes her. Although Sheila is unaware of it, Gary's conflicted emotions are a holdover from their previous contacts. The first time they meet is never as blank a page as Sheila thinks it would be. Something from the past sticks and follows you into the future. In the end, Gary makes the choice to investigate the time machine and learns that Sheila wasn't joking. Although he likes her, he is unwilling to meet her for the first time again. He makes the decision to revisit her past in order to resolve whatever issue contributed to her negative outlook on life, since he wants to move on to tomorrow, no matter how it appears. Things don't go as he had planned, particularly when he travels too far back in Sheila's past and encounters her impressionable young self. He returns with the conviction that he must have changed something, but it turns out he hasn't. Sheila is about to jump when he runs into her on the bridge. To his relief, she accepts when he persuades her to give the next day another chance. Finally, they enter tomorrow together, demonstrating that they are prepared to accept events as they arise. Life will still be difficult, and occasionally, things might go wrong. But for the time being, they are prepared to move things further by going on a second date. They might continue to be friends, or they might not. In any event, they won't be stuck on the same day and will take each tomorrow as it comes.